Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to talk about the solid principles in a bit of a more fun and exciting way than just sitting down and telling you single possibility means this and open close means this. You can google that, you can find that, I'm pretty sure you know already about them. This video is not about that. This video is about looking at them from a perspective of, okay, let's say I'm using them or I have a project I want to refactor. Which ones will bring the most value and if I can't apply everything which ones should I prioritize over applying because remember yes none of them should be skipped when you design code from scratch but if you're asked to refactor code how would you go about using them and that is what we're gonna try to see in this rating uh, board here where I'm just gonna rank them from S to C based on relevance um, value for using them, um, how easy it is to use them in an existing code base. If you're writing code from scratch, there is no question in terms of whether you should skip over any. You should be using every single one of them. They are golden. But you might work in pre-existing code that is violating them and we're gonna rate them based on what value they bring when applied. If you like that type of content and you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get alerted when uploading a new video. So let's go straight into the board and I'm going to start from S to D and I'm going to talk about them and um, as I'm rating them. So first we have S which stands for single responsibility principle and it says that classes should only be doing one thing basically they should have a single responsibility and I personally take it a bit further I also have in my mind when I'm coding that methods should also have a single responsibility within that class so I'm extracting methods based on what they're doing within the context of the class to actually isolate bits of behavior uh, and give them a name and it helps you document the code as you go without having to write comments now single responsibility is very very important and for that reason I'm gonna have to rate them as an S is it's one of those things that whenever you're looking at spaghetti code one of the things you're gonna see is that the method or the class is doing way too much it's very unlikely that you're gonna just look at code and you'll be like oh yeah um, interface aggregation or oh yeah list of substitution principle we have to change that now it's usually hey this class is doing way too much we need to split it out we need to separate them into logical pieces and make those pieces more manageable and this will actually help apply further refactoring and it's one of those things that whenever I'm touching code that is legacy I'm always trying to apply that however it's not the most important one in my opinion but it is very very important you should not be skipping over it always 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 design your classes to be doing one thing only it's very important the next one is the open close principle and the open close principle says that software uh, entities like classes functions methods should be open for extension and closed for modification what does that mean when it means that if something changes in your business logic your domain um, even your code if you need to go back and edit a pre-existing class or method in order to implement that new thing then you're kind of violating that because you're adding the risk that by making that cascading change you might actually break something ideally you want your, your code to grow naturally as you go and expand uh, and extend actually as the specific principle implies not get modified modifying it is also more difficult as you go on you have bigger and bigger classes uh, which ultimately you shouldn't if you don't violate single responsibility but you could be in a situation like this however when you're looking at pre-existing code it's very unlikely that you're gonna start by open closed it's a very important one but I don't think I would have it be as important as single responsibility so for that reason I'm gonna put it at A it's very important but I think that it's not something you can easily start from for example open close might be something especially in refactoring that you end up with if you apply it single responsibility correctly so yeah that's that's my take on that next one is list of substitution principle and the interesting thing about this principle is that in software that i write which is usually microservices actually it's always microservices you don't really 
use inheritance. You know, inheritance is one of those things that I haven't used in the past, I want to say four years. Um, obviously, when you're working with uh, NuGet packages and code where you're trying to make good interfaces for a user or uh, a good API, I mean, for a user, API, I mean, code API, not API that you're calling, um, then you might actually use it. But from the consumer standpoint, you know, I'm, if I'm here, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm going to write a microservice today, um, whether that's API, uh, work, consumer, or anything. I don't really use inheritance. So for me, list of substitution principle go see by the way um, the principle itself says that objects should be replaceable by their subtypes without modifying the correctness of the program um, which is a, a very interesting concept and a very good and, and solid principle no pun intended but in the code that i write it's not really relevant i never had to use it if i am to write code that use inheritance, I will definitely use it, but it's not really comparable to, let's say, same responsibility or open closed. Now, the next one is the interface segregation principle. And that principle says that you're better off having multiple interfaces with separate responsibilities than having one interface that has all the responsibilities in that. Um, and it sort of is tied with same responsibility, basically, because you you won't think to be doing one thing and one thing only and by splitting them you give them more i don't want to say character but you isolate the responsibility of the object now interface segregation is one of those other things that especially in the code that i write i don't usually use it that much so i definitely have interfaces but the the score is so narrow that i usually have a couple which i guess is still using it but it's not as used in my code as open close or single responsibility so for that reason i would put in b it's still very very important but it's not as used in my code as single responsibility or open close so for that reason it's going to go there still very very important i've seen cases where people end up refactoring interfaces and then after the fact split the interface to two because it ended up doing too much and it's uh, it's sad because it could be avoided in the beginning had the principle been followed from the beginning and last but not least we have the dependency invasion principle which says that your classes should depend on abstractions not concretions now that principle in my opinion is the most important in this whole thing and for that reason it goes to s even in front of sync responsibility the value that you get out of using uh, the uh, DIP is so so much it's the foundation of having code that is testable unit testable the fact that you depend on abstraction or interfaces that you can mock and then unit test and not just that if you did your abstractions correctly you can inject a service and then you can change a data layer in that service and as long as the abstraction you're injecting is correct the implementation doesn't matter it's interchangeable you know when i use sql server when i use mongodb cosmos db dynamodb it doesn't matter this principle is the reason why we can do this so so easily and have our code be testable it is the foundation of clean code in my opinion um, alongside some other uh, things and for that reason it absolutely gets the crown of the most important for me solid principle if you have a different way you would order this please leave a comment in the description down below but this is my list looking at it from a perspective where i need to apply these principles into a piece of code that i have to refactor in fact if you check my uh, the refactoring test in the cracking the dotnet interview um, video that i have you can actually click on the top right corner of your screen and check that the two principles that I apply straight out of the way. In fact, the first one that I apply straight out of the way is the dependency inversion principle. And then it goes uh, same responsibility and open closed and we don't apply uh, list of substitution and we only moderately apply um, interface aggregation. So out of that video, you can actually see the value that they bring. And this is how I have them in mind when I am applying those principles in my code.
That's all I had for this video. I hope you found this entertaining. And if you want more like this, please let me know. And I'm more than happy to make more of them. Special thanks to my patrons for making these videos possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.